Google just dropped the most insane wave of AI tools the world has ever seen. Tools that could replace coders, web designers, and even YouTubers like me. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening. Right now. Yesterday, Google dropped what might be the most aggressive wave of AI announcements the world has ever seen. An avalanche of demos, paywalled tools, and futuristic promises. It was wild, overwhelming, and honestly, kind of awesome. At the center of it all, Gemini 2.5, Google's most powerful model to date. In internal benchmarks, yes, their own, Gemini Ultra 2.5 outperformed GPT-4 in nearly every reasoning task. Even the lightweight Gemini Flash model managed to beat GPT-4 in Chrome-related performance, making it not only faster, but now arguably the smarter choice for browser-based tasks. But it's not just benchmarks and flexing. Google's vision is clear. The future is agentic. Soon, Gemini won't just suggest actions. It will take them for you. Think clicking buttons, filling out forms, navigating websites without you lifting a finger. This functionality, once known as Project Mariner, is now simply agent mode, and it could redefine what web browsing means. It's AI browsing the web for other AIs. And yes, that's as wild as it sounds. But that's just the beginning. Google also introduced Stitch, a tool that generates and designs entire user interfaces. That means AI will be designing websites for AI agents to use inside AI-powered browsers. Web designers, start thinking about your plan B. It gets deeper. Google unveiled Jules, an asynchronous, agentic coding system that can build and deploy other AI agents. Let that sink in. An AI that codes other AIs. Developers aren't just being automated. They're being abstracted. Then there's Flow. This might be the most disruptive tool of all. It combines Google's latest video model, ImageN3, and audio model, VO, into one pipeline. The result? You type a prompt, and Flow outputs full cinematic video with voiceover, music, and dialogue. Yes, that means entire faceless YouTube videos can be generated in minutes. This is a serious threat to every low-effort content farm, and possibly even Hollywood. All of this innovation, however, comes at a cost. If you want access to the full power of Gemini Ultra 2.5, prepare for Google's AI Ultra Payment Plan, $124.99 month for the first three months, and then a whopping $249 month. That includes 30 terabytes of storage, but it's clear. Google is building a luxury suite for AI power users. On the open source front, Google isn't slacking either. The new Gemma 3N models are giving serious competition to Claude Sonnet 3.7 and their open weight. That means developers can actually run these models locally or embed them into their own tools, a refreshing shift for Google, which is notoriously closed when it comes to infrastructure. One of the most surprising announcements. Model context protocol support. Yes, Google is actually embracing a standard used by the wider AI community rather than inventing their own closed version. This could mark a rare moment of collaboration between tech giants, though we'll see how long it lasts. And then came Project Astra, perhaps the most futuristic demo of the day. It's a real-time AI assistant that analyzes live video feeds. Imagine holding your phone up to a shelf full of mushrooms and Astra tells you which ones are edible. Or wearing glasses that whisper information about your surroundings in real time. Speaking of glasses, Android XR glasses are now confirmed to be in development, taking direct aim at Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses. Another futuristic feature? Project Beam, which can convert 2D videos into full 3D experiences. Think holograms for meetings, training, gaming, possibly even more immersive industries. It's still in early development, but the potential is massive. And let's not overlook the upgrades to Imagine and Vio, 
Google's flagship image and video generators. The new demos showed fully AI-generated video with synchronized audio and realistic motion, pushing the boundary of what AI can produce visually and sonically. Lastly, amidst all the moonshots, Google actually slipped in something for front-end devs. CSS Carousel Primitives Now, you can build interactive carousels with a few hundred lines of CSS instead of wrestling with thousands of lines of JavaScript or jQuery. It's small, but it's real, and honestly, refreshing. Conclusion So what does it all mean? Google's not just releasing AI tools anymore. They're building an entire AI-powered ecosystem, one where agents build websites, code apps, generate content, and interact with the web for you. Whether you're a designer, a coder, or a creator, the ground just shifted beneath your feet. The age of AI agents isn't coming, it's already here. If you found this as mind-blowing as I did, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss what's coming next, because the AI revolution is just getting started.